날 말미 내 뜻뺨이 마주친 눈이 내 하늘이 물들어가지 구름 위를 넘실거릴 듯 날아오를 기분 싱그러운 듯 Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a favorite video, which I haven't done in a very, very, very long time. So here you're going to find a bunch of my favorite beauty products, fashion items, random things, and stuff like that. So let's just hop into the video with my beauty favorites. So I'm going to start off with my lip products because I have quite a few because I've been really liking certain lip looks lately. And these are the products I've been loving to use in the process so let's start off with my mac lipstick and this is in the shade sunny sol sol whatever i'm not korean um but it's a cream sheen lipstick and i've seen this quite um a few times on youtube as people's favorite lip colors and i see people using it in makeup tutorials so um i actually just went into the mac store and i picked up this lipstick and then i looked at the name and i was just like this is destiny um, yes, so I just had to get it. So this is what I picked up um, I think last month um, or in March So I've been wearing it a lot and it's just a pink peachy color um, But I guess I can say that this isn't very pigmented. It's really not. It's quite like average pigmented yeah, but um color is absolutely amazing. The formula is gorgeous or I guess you can call the formula gorgeous I don't know my adjectives. Um, but I've been wearing this a lot lately with just a clear lip gloss on top And I think I wore this in a past video before because some people were asking what I was wearing in the video I wore this in my Q&A video and some of my reaction videos that I've been putting on my second channel Um, but yeah, I just love this lipstick color and mm, mm. Mm. Last but not least in the lip product category, I have my beloved Nature Republic by Flower Lip Balms. And let me tell you guys, I don't love these products just because there's exo faces at the bottom of them. But the color is amazing and the consistency is amazing. And the way these are made is mind-blowing because, you know, they are clear like this. And this one has Kai's face on it. And this is the scent Rose. And they come with three flavors I can choose from and I have all three. Um, when you swatch it, it or apply it to your lips, it's a bright, bright pink color. And I like to use this in the inner part of my lips so then I have the gradient lip look. This is what I usually use for that look because it's my favorite shade of pink. And my favorite scent is Honey Lemon. And I don't, I don't even know. Oh my god. They smell so good. <laughs> Moving right along, I have a couple face products. So I'll just go into those yeah so I'm gonna go really quick about this one but this is my go-to blush at the moment and I bought this last year I think no maybe a year before that but this is the benefit Hervana blush and it's just a purpley swirliness and it comes with a little brush so if you don't have one it comes with one and it's just like this I don't know how to explain it I would like to say it's like a a light purpley pink slash lavender color it's just, quite pinky though it's like purple pink princessy kind of I don't know but I really do love this blush um but definitely Hervana is the bay at the moment it has always been bay but you know currently next up are my BB creams and if you guys don't know BB creams actually came from Asia not just the drugstore that you see all the time at like Walmart and Target because you know every brand has them now but um I have two favorites at the moment because I tried both of these and I love both of them. I can't choose one that I like, so I just flip flop which one I want to use each day. So right now I'm actually wearing the Etude House one, but I also have the Holika Holika one. Um, but let me just tell you guys about these. So um, this one is the Etude House Precious Mineral BB Cream in the Cotton Fit, which is better for um, dry, I mean oily, acne prone skin. And I love this BB Cream so much. It covers so well for BB Cream. Um, or it's just like better than the American brands I've been trying. Mmm, mmm. Let me just... <sighs> this BB cream is my life. And I have the shade W13, I think. Is that the shade? The shade range isn't that good because it is an Asian brand and Asian skin tones tend to not be quite dark. So they do have lighter shades and like the lightest one is literally white and I don't, I don't get how... Mm. If you blend this out, I guess it could work for a lot of skin tones, kind of, maybe. Who knows? I am talking way too much. Let's just get to the point. I love this. This covers so well, and it has 
SPF in it so it protects from the sun and it, that kind of fits in with the anti-wrinkle and darkening type thing but I don't I can't explain why this is so good like it's so good it doesn't make my face oily it stays on all day which hasn't happened with a lot of face products for me because my face is quite oily and it likes to like strip everything off of it by the end of the day and this stays put with a powder of course I always have to put powder but like Mm. So moving right along, I have the Aqua Petite Jelly BB Cream from Holika Holika, and this is a lighter formula. It's quite thinner than um, the Etude House one, in my opinion, and I think this is a darker shade also, so it matches my skin tone a little better, but it does have a gray undertone um, if I don't put any like bronzer on afterwards. This is a super light texture, and it feels like there's nothing on my face when I wear this, so I usually like to wear this to school. Um, yeah, this is my mostly go-to one for school because it's easier to blend than the Etude House one, but it gives less coverage. But the formula is so lightweight and so long-lasting, for me at least, and it doesn't make me oily, so I definitely love these two BB creams so much. They just have all the pluses I need in a face product and for coverage, so definitely recommend these two to you guys out there who are looking for a nice BB cream. Okay, now moving on to skincare. That's all the makeup products. First of all, you guys know I love this stuff. I've been using it in all my tutorials lately. And this is the Nature Republic Soothing and Moisture Aloe Vera Gel. And this is 92% aloe vera, so uh, that is amazing. Um, aloe has a lot of skin-benefiting properties. I can't really explain all of them because I'm not, like, a dermatologist or anything, and I can't... I don't want to tell you guys false things, so let's just... Let me just straight out say it. Aloe is good for you, okay? This aloe on my face, mm, 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 mm. I use this in the morning and at night and anytime I need extra moisture because this thing is amazing. It does not break me out. It helps me with any irritations and I just apply it there. I apply it to any burns or irritated areas where I have like pimples and stuff and it really does help um, with the swelling of a pimple or whatever stuff that is. Um, but it is so good. You guys need to get your hands on this. It's not that expensive. On Amazon, I believe it's like 8 or $10, but if you get it on other Korean cosmetic sites, it might be around 5 or 3 I got this for like 4 bucks actually, I think. So yeah, you guys definitely have to try this out. Moving on, I also have... Okay, a lot of these products are Korean skincare or products. I'm so sorry, but I've been obsessed with Korean beauty products lately, so... But this is the Milk Brightening Toner from Secret Key, and this is for all skin types. Um, so I actually have oily acne prone skin, not really acne prone, but I get pimples here and there and they're usually quite painful. In the past, I used a lot of salicylic acid based items, so like all my toners and cleansers and moisturizers were all salicylic acid based, which wasn't helping at all, so I just stopped using them and I moved on to milk based products, which might sound a little weird, but milk has a lot of... Um, skin benefiting properties but a lot of my skincare products are milk based and this is one of them this is a toner and let me just tell you guys this is so good um, ever since I've been using this my skin has been so good I haven't broken out in like like massive amounts of pimples I've I have like one really small one on my forehead right here but this is so good it's so soothing and relaxing feeling and it just freshens up my face it doesn't have a strong scent, it kind of just smells like a natural toner, kind of. Doesn't have any strong chemical-y scent. So definitely check this out if you're looking for a nice toner. You have to. You, you just have to. Okay, those were all my skincare products. So then I also have one hair care product, and this I'm so late on. A lot of people actually already use this, but I just got into it, okay? So I've tried out so many dry shampoos, and not all of them has worked out for me. Um, But this one is thebomb.com. So I have the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Um, and I got it in the Fruit and Cheeky Cherry scent. It absorbs all of my hair oils. And in the past, when I've used dry shampoos, it just made my hair white. But this, the white residue or the white powder in your hair when you apply it, it's completely gone after I, like, really, like, work it into my hair. And this keeps my hair... Um, really maintain and not oily throughout the day when I don't wash my hair, like second day hair. You guys need to try this if you have oily hair or if you just don't wash your hair that often, you need this. It is so good. So those were all my beauty favorites. So I'm going to move on to my fashion favorites, which I only have one. But it's kind of lifestyle too because it's an activewear jacket. I just love this jacket, okay? 
It's from uh, Calvin Klein, and I got it at TJ Maxx for like $50, which isn't too bad because the original price is like $99 or $100. So it's just a really bright lime green color, and it has gray sleeves and stuff like that. It also has little finger holes for your thumbs, but it's just an active wear jacket for running or working out and stuff. And I love wearing this um, because when I work out, I like to sweat. I like to sweat out all the toxins, and it makes me feel better after I take a shower with all those sweat penis out and off of me like I just need to sweat when I work out so I put this on to when I'm running this actually got me into working out because I am so weird I need cute running clothes or like working out clothes to work out because I can't just no no see this was my motivation that's how sad it was if you guys need some motivation for working out just get something cute to work out in and maybe you'll have the motivation too but like it's just so perfect it goes with anything really I can just wear this to school too which I have and like it's just so pretty. I don't know. I love it. Okay, so those were all my fashion and beauty lifestyle favorites. Let's get into the fun stuff. Um, my favorite music and shows. <gasps> you guys, you guys, do you guys watch Korean dramas? Because if you don't, you need to, okay? I don't watch Amer I don't watch Netflix or TV at all anymore. Like, I don't even know what is on TV. Like, is Switched Up Birth still on? Is The Foster still on? I don't know. But I've been loving... <sighs> Blood is so good. Um, not the actual blood. Like, I don't drink blood. I'm not a vampire, but, um, there's a drama out called Blood, and there's only, like, what, like, six more episodes left? And, oh my Park Ji Sang. Oh my perfect human being. Or Anjay Wan? Anjay Han. Wait, this is really bad. I don't know his actual name. It's Anjay something, okay? But... Blood is such a good drama. It's about like a guy who gets infected with a virus that makes him kind of like a vampire type like person and he's born with it and then um, his parents die and stuff like that and he tries to figure out um, who killed his parents when he grows up and he grows up to actually be a surgeon which is kind of weird because you're a vampire and you get, you get attracted to blood um, but he takes like pills and medicine he tries to figure out everything and he finds a love interest I think Rita I shipped that so much when are they gonna kiss huh I don't know but it gets kind of creepy at sometimes and it's kind of graphic at sometimes because of the um, vampire type things because like the guy infects people with the VBT01 and I'm just mm, it's kind of gross sometimes and kind of freaky and that makes me scared to death when I'm watching by myself in my room I like I don't want to get up I think like that's there's like a vampire under me under my bed that's gonna like grab my foot and kill me but RT song of course it's gonna save me duh okay guys I'm a little too obsessed with Parky song like Mm. And why does he have to be so much older than me? It's kind of sad. I think he's like 27. That's so sad. I'm 14. What is my life? What is life? Anyway, uh, moving on to my favorite songs at the moment. So, today is what? April 1st? A couple days ago, EXO released their album, Exodus, their second full-length album. Let me... Mm. Let's take a moment. Let's just... Yes, EXO slayed that album. They slay, okay? Um, the music video slay too. Like, mm, let's just talk about the dance. Mm, no. Okay. Let's admire the album. Um, I love both Korean and Chinese versions of the album. Um, but let's play my couple of favorite songs. That's enough for that song. I just, mm, oh my god. What if? What if? Let's let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next, my answer. My answer. Oh, my. Mm. Getting all the feels. Yeah, 
Love is more, answer is you My answer is you Love is not enough, you are my everything I'm not sure if I'm Okay, moving on. Exodus, Exodus, yes! Okay, El Dorado, we'll go. Mm. Oh, me, El Dorado. Like, who cannot like that song? Who cannot? Who cannot? Okay, hurt. Let's go. Okay, beautiful. Let's go. So, who's singing like this? Let's stick it. Me in such a good mood or or a really angry and frustrated mood anyway also one song that's not on the album but they released for like 10 hours was first love like it's so happy oh, 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 it's so sweet and happy oh my god anyway definitely check out exodus or exo's second full-length album exodus be sure to listen to it and uh, anyway that was my favorite video for today i hopefully that wasn't too long maybe 10 minutes or shorter i don't know yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um please request more videos for me to do down below so until next time i will see you guys in my next video bye beauties